this week on the Hoover Boys. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. Huh. Boop! Yes, sir! Welcome to this week's Hoover Boys episode. As you can tell, we are not in the river today. We're actually hunting an old farm. My boy Paul called me up and invited me up for the day. Unfortunately, and I mean that, Charlie couldn't make it today. He's at the beach with his family. But uh, it's myself, Paul, and Kevin from Potty Counter, Potty Counter, Potty Counter, Potty, Potter County Diggers. I can't talk today. I'm really tired. Um, so Paul's been to this field a few times and he's detected out in what's now corn and done very well. But he noticed that the rye's been cut. So we're going to try out there. We can try in the yard even though he said he hasn't done great in the yard. But they have found a lot of coppers and old buttons and things we like to find out in the field. So let's uh, do a little metal detecting. Try to have some fun and say some history. I am going to be running the new Garrett Ace Apex today. Um, I have it in multi-frequency. Iron volume at like 2. Sensitivity 7 and zero mode. We're gonna have some fun and see what comes out of the ground. It's gonna be hot. Let's go. Sorry for the mouthful of sunflower seeds, but this is my second hole. My first hole was a big hunk of wire. Got a 50 signal here. I was thinking nickel. Turns out to be a big tomback button. Always a sight for sore eyes. Tells you you're in the right spot right there. No design, but we do have a shank. Nice mid 1700s button right there. Absolutely beautiful. Well, Kevin and I are enjoying the shade while we have it. And Kevin's on the board. Thanks. Sorry for butchering your name in the intro. I don't care. Or your channel name. I'm going to change it anyway. What is going on there? I don't know. Corner button, definitely something round. I didn't pop it yet, so. Well, oh, no shame. Is that two cent piece? I think so, but it didn't ring up like that. No, it almost looks two cent size. Oh, it's a button. Back mark's coming through. You can rub on it now. Yep. Yeah. Shoot. Well, if there's anything on the face, we'll come back, but not a good sign. Love finding me the old buttons. Someone there? When the ground's dry and hard, sometimes it's hard to tell. On to the next corner button. Well, this is my second coin of the day. The first is a memorial. This one is a weedy. 1946 or 48 wheat penny. So we got kind of a late start this morning because I live so far away. Uh, we just had lunch and uh, after lunch, Kevin's like, five dollars for the first copper. I am in. We got to do something to uh, wake these coins up. So far, I have a musket ball and a couple pieces of trash after lunch, but Kevin's deeping, well, digging some sort of decent signal here, so. So in the hole, he let me beep over with the uh, apex and sounded good, like high 70s for me. But I was also hitting like a foot off the ground, so I'm worried it's gonna be something big now. Oh be good. Be nice. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Big hunk of silver aluminium. I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't nah, that, not terribly big. That's what my last signal was. Uh. Well, good for one free disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we switched fields. So far, this field. This is not the spoon I found. This is the spoon I found earlier. I have multiple spoons today. Found this spoon in a memorial. I have a really nice signal here, but it's close to the surface. It does sound like a coin. We're gonna lab dig it. Yeah, 80s all day long. Let's see if I hit with the probe. Be a copper right there. Be a copper right there. No, don't get bigger. Don't get larger. It might be getting bigger. It's so pure though. Got a lot pop it. 
Is that it? No. This is this is not going the way I was hoping it to. Just saying. Oh yeah, there we go. Hmm. Now I have one of those. Yeah. We moved sites again, and the uh, copper bed is still on. Uh, apparently, this is an old farmland, or it used to be old farmland, and it also was a Revolutionary War camp. About 10,000 soldiers camped here for two weeks back during the Revolutionary War. So far I got a itsy bitsy little tiny flat button and a couple of odds and ends. This isn't history, but it is silver. What it is, no idea. But it says Sterling and Mexico. <laughs> so, found some silver today. Well, I guess that's going to be my first silver with the uh, Apex, so I guess I'll get it on film. What was it? No idea. Let me see it. It <laughs> so, better not be a real. <laughs> so Kevin was uh, curious about what I found because I was filming. And I uh, told him I have some Mexican silver. He's never found a real. <laughs> oh, come on. And I haven't found one yet today. <laughs> it's, it says Sterling and it says Mexico. <laughs> What the heck was it? Some kind of glass. I've, I, it's Mexican <laughs> silver though, so. Yeah, it's got a hallmark and everything on it. <laughs> it's not a coin, but it's Mexican silver. Yep. <laughs> you gone, done, did it, huh? Yep. Yeah, Found an old coin. Yes, right, sir. Go. Oh no! What's wrong <laughs> yeah, with the face piece? <laughs> I thought for sure it was a memorial because I just popped a dime right there. Clad dime. There's another one. I, I did that. Yeah, I, <laughs> Quite impressive. Yeah. But. Well, we'll scrape it up see if we can get a date. Good job. That's I awesome. guess it's somewhat of an episode. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Actually, didn't clean up too bad. 1808. Never seen one of those. It's a 1908. It is not the S, yes, though. We checked. Not a bad looking coin compared to how it first came out of the ground. Congrats. Thank you. Boop. Thank you. Well, I guess I uh, kind of have to live dig this one. It's a screamer. Uh, yeah, about that. Let me see, let me put this down. I think it's over here somewhere. Wish I had my GoPro hooked to me, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? At least be like a clad quarter or something. Could be a silver, could be a copper. Could be nothing of interest. Let's find out. Well, it's not. My shovel's in the way. Yeah, that sounds mighty nice. Is it that? That's not a coin. That is a huge deer bullet. Must be hunting elephant deer here. Ugh. So he thinks he's got one. I, I think. I don't know. Paul looked at it. <laughs> that looks suspicious. Is that all the deeper it was? Yeah. Oh, it came out down there? Yeah. yeah. Alright, well. Actually, it was on the plug, so. How about it? I'll give it to Paul. Give it to Paul. That's definitely not a clad quarter. But it's only 30% of a copper, so I only need like 350 or something. Yeah, I don't know. It has to be a whole, yeah. it has to be a whole copper to count. <laughs> Clean it off. <laughs> Looks like a lawnmower smack, because that's not a purposely cut like that. I wouldn't think so. That's definitely a copper. Good job, nice man. Copper. <laughs> they do exist. See? Now that keeps the streak alive. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, apparently Paul's been here like 10 plus times, and he said every time he's came here, he's dug at least one copper. So. There's apparently used to be a lot of them here. You never know. Anything on it? Heck yeah, not a bad looking coin either. King George, I think that's King George II. It's kind of funky looking. Definitely Britannia on this side. You might have a date coming through there. Let me look at this in the camera real close. It does say George of us over there, doesn't it? It's just funky looking a little bit. I don't know. It definitely 
appears to be King George II, but almost looks like a lady. Congrats, man. It's freaking awesome. Cool. Yeah, you can kind of see her. All right. This is where we say, game on. <laughs> well, the guys are over there leaning up against my truck, so I think it's going to be closing time here shortly. But I have a really good signal here. It's a good possibility it's going to be a copper. I guess we'll try to lab dig it. Yeah, that sounds mighty nice. All the cloud here has been really shallow, so you get any sort of deeper signal, especially a high tone. Hard not to get excited, since he has found so many coins here in the past. Be good. One for the road. Uh-oh. I see an impression right there. That might be a copper impression. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in there. That is definitely a copper impression. Oh, thank you. Should be right here somewhere. Let's see, that came up there. That should be right over here. Fairly deep. Okay. Wish I had more hands. I need more hands. I do believe it's going to be a copper. Where are we at here? Did we get it? I'm hearing my shovel. It's right down there. How do you pop the impression and you don't see nothing in here? We know it's a coin. It's got to be. Come on. Come on. Deep sucker. All right, let me make sure I got it. Oh, it's right there. Huh. Boop! Yes, sir! Oh, zero hour. I got me a copper. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's gonna, probably gonna be British of some sort. Just because it was in the 70s. I think I see Britannia there. I'm gonna toothpick this one since his copper was so pretty. Hopefully this one will be pretty too. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> the soil here is mighty wet, so it's pretty disgusting. But that's just my luck. I mean, there might be a bus there. Might be. I might have to uh, get this one wet to figure out what's going on there. I'll do that and we'll look at it in the wrap up. Hopefully something comes through. If you can't tell by the, the sweat on my face, I had to work for this one. <laughs> I had to work really hard for this one. Uh, I think Kevin's beeping again, so we might hang out a little longer. We'll find out. Popping coppers is fun and all, but uh, I just found my favorite find of the day. When you're at a Revolutionary War site and you find something with an eagle on it, yeah. It was like a 45 signal. Came up from the bottom of the hole. Looks like the end of a pewter spoon handle. But that's an eagle. That is no doubt an eagle on the end of that spoon handle. Did they issue these in the Revolutionary War? That is an eagle, right? It's not my eyes not playing tricks on me. Well, it looks like an eagle to me, and that's pretty awesome. I like that all the way. Finally, on the board? <laughs> on the board, but not in the coin way. No? You have relicked? I just got relicked. In a big Chris way. <laughs> it's a 44 cal tag. Woo! 44, ladies, that's me! It's a cold cut. It's a cold cut. What's the chances of that? <laughs> that is awesome. One of our subscribers actually sent Paul a 44 cal tag a few Chris? years ago. Who, what did I say? Paul. Paul? Yeah, you're Paul. <laughs> 44 is Chris. And I am absolutely 100% deadbeat tired. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> 44 Chris. Shout out, Chris. Yeah, buddy. Well, boys, for a nasty hot summer day, I think we made the best of it. Found a few things, rescued a few items from the ground, and uh, dug some trash. Well, we didn't have no, like, <laughs> brand new location, so we went back to... Yeah. Small location, so it's not bad for it. No, not at all. We worked for it, that's for sure. We definitely worked for it. There's the trash, there's the board. I guess I'll start with me. 
when this popped out, I was like, I got a Rev War belt plate. It's definitely not. Uh, did get a big pewter spoon. There's my clad. Got a rivet. A couple buttons. Heavy brass thing there. That's a stainless steel spoon. There's my lead. Got two EDs. <laughs> I got a Mexican silver. Cool, you got I, some musket balls. Yeah, I did get a copper. That might be a King George II now that I'm looking at it. And uh, my favorite find, that little eagle piece. I think it's an eagle. Polly boy. <laughs> get the 44 cal tag. That's awesome. The little early buckle there. Some modern bullets. You got a whole bunch of clad. And maybe the outer rim of a pocket watch. The bottom shows the... The bottom part shows the nice ornate where your thumb is. Oh yeah, this definitely fancy. Yeah. And then Kevin, Rain's Guide, Lock Hole Escutcheon. You got the D, a fishing weight. <laughs> I've seen too many of them recently. You got on three buttons, one tom back. You got the Indian, King George II, and the <laughs> And what else we got here? Some clad and stuff. Well boys, I think it's time for dinner. Until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Bye, Kevin. It's all holes matter. Yes, sir. What am I zooming in on? What am I zooming in on? Let's do the Indians. My last $5. Oh, no. Always pay your bets. Oh, well, thank you very much. Damn, you took it. Yeah, he took it. I would, I'd force him to have it. A bet's a bet. Now pay the man. He said you were in, <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Are you using your probe as a digging tool? There, oh, there it is. It's silver. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's silver. It's a clad dime. <laughs> is it clad? Yeah, throw it in front of you. <laughs>